Do you have long hair and fancy trying a bob but don't want to take the plunge? We have the solution. Try this faux bob inspired by X Factor's Caroline Flack. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to start off with my hair split in the middle and then I'm going to decide what short layers can stay free. So I'm going to split the hair just about ear level. And with this hair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plait it and then pin it in at the back of my head. So just to get it out of the way. So what I'm going to do with this now, as I have quite long layers and not short layers, I'm going to curl the top sections of the hair to add a bit of movement and create the impression of a false layer. So working in random sections, curl some towards the head and some away from the head. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So once you've curled all the top sections of your hair, I'm just going to pop in a bit of texturizing glue around the top sections just to rough it up. So use your fingers to kind of break up the curls slightly so they're not so defined. And now what we're going to do is taking the longer lengths of your hair, so anything below the kind of bob level, I'm just going to grab my texturising brush. Now you can use a comb for this either, no panic. And brush the hair up towards itself. So as you can see here, it's all going to shimmy up into a bob. Like magic. Just like so. And keep going until you have the kind of desired length. And then I'm going to grab a couple of bobby pins and I'm going to pull the hair back to cover the plaits as much as possible and then slide into place under it to create just a kind of, not too perfect, but nearly there, false bob. So once you've secured the back in place and you've covered the plait as much as possible, it's time to start working on the front sections. So again, tucking under and using those curls to full advantage, just take the blunt pieces and tuck them under and pin in place. Okay. Once you've anchored the longer layers of hair in place, you can start to play around with the shape and use your tail comb to start covering over the more obvious back comb bits. I'm just going to add a bit of texture to my front sections, just like so, and just try and make it as believable as possible, just like that. And now I'm going to get to work on the other side. Okay, so when you're finished with your look and you've pinned up all your stray bits, finish off with a good bit of hairspray. So there you go guys, a fake bob, the perfect way to try the trend without chopping off all your lovely locks. Quick note, this style does work better on slightly shorter hair. As you can see with longer hair like mine, it can be a bit of a challenge. Thanks for watching everyone and don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on Pose.